So um, now, what do you do now? Right, I'm just hustling. You're hustling. Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? Because of my past experiences and the masturbation issues, I don't have feelings for women. Let me put it that way. Are you serious? Yes. Are you denying yourself, or is you've psyched yourself not to no. have any feelings for? So if I go naked right now, you won't have feelings for me? No. Are you serious? Yes. I don't want to dare you. Spend with that person will be six months. You won't get intimate? No. So the awkward thing is still ringing in your ears. As you said, they told you not to sleep with any. You, you're not supposed to see a naked woman. Yes. But you're out of it. Let me put it this way. Because of the masturbation attitude, mm -hmm. I find it pleasant to do that. So you still masturbate? Yes. You still do it? Yes. I said now you still do it? Yes. Okay. But you will stop. Amen. Thank you. You're going to stop. From today, it will, it will, it will vanish. Wherever it is, it's going to vanish. Mm -hmm. Before I move on, let me, <laughs> let me go to... Um, uh, mommy is in the house. I, I, I think you know her. You've heard several times. Even watched her videos on YouTube as well. Okay. That's nice. So she's here and Bernard and Habiba is here. I'll give them some few minutes to talk. Let me give advice because a lot of people are on the line and people want to send messages and all that. We are live on Facebook too. So people, if you just tuned in, you heard from the horse's own mouth. The story that was posted today is what we're discussing. And we have the gentleman here. He's a fine man. But the devil wants... The de you see, the devil doesn't want good things. So he always touches the, the blessed ones. You know, the most handsome, the most beautiful, the, you know, the fine ones, the people that can win souls for Christ. That's where the devil taps in to distract them. But tonight, the spirit of masturbation will leave wherever it is. Is gonna leave yeah so let me go straight to thank you so much sweetie I wish I could mention your name but let me just keep it if you understand me you would understand me mommy you're welcome to the show tonight I am very scared I'm very sad I'm having mixed emotions because I feel that this is a gentleman that could have a better life I mean but the devil decided to use him through secondary school. I now understand why mommy says she won't let any of her children go to boarding school. Over could they? They are to you complete secondary school. Yeah. And I think I'm going to buy that idea because when your child goes to school, you have no control over them. You have no idea the yeah. things that they can do in school and that the influence of friends. They can they can ask. My dear brother here was saying, in the morning, he's a different person. But in the night, if you try him, in the night, he's a master grinder. He calls the shot. Mm. Mommy, please, um, I want to hear your, your submission and then we'll take it from there. Wow. <laughs> God bless you, my dear. Amen. At least you have life. Yeah. At least there is hope. Because there are others that did the same thing you're doing. They are gone. They yeah. couldn't survive. But as I always say, this secondary school issue, I'm telling you, you see, you're in secondary school. I don't think we are too grown to be in this. But to, <laughs> you, it, it, I will not be surprised if this thing started way back in JSS with those people. Mm -hmm. It's I'm possible. You, yeah. For them to get to that level, they have started way back and i keep on telling parents we should stop ignoring the small small things our kids are doing it's killing them most of the kids don't have the confidence to tell their parents what they are going through because they are scared what, what will mommy say but maybe daddy will be to daddy will shout to me so they keep it to themselves and they are doing things that are too too much of abominable things you see he has gone through all this he should have gone through it but if he had the confidence of the mother or the father, I think he could have spoken to any of them for help. But one way or the other, my mother is struggling, my father is struggling. 
Nobody has time to listen to us. All they know is that get food, eat, go and sleep, and that's all. We don't care how the child is faring. He has changed. When he came back home, this boy has changed. There's something strange. As a matter, you will feel it. When he goes wrong, we feel it. But we ignore it. Because if we are taking spams in secondary school for wealth, what for? All in the fame of getting money, everyone will get money early, want to buy a car, everyone want to own, own. Why do we want to own what? Why don't we teach ourselves that if you want to own something, do it in the right way? Now, as he's saying, masturbation is not a joke. It takes, I'm telling you, my dear, it takes a lot. Do you know why? Because this kind of spirit, is, it's, it's Satan himself. Because the kind of blood they get every minute to do masturbation cannot be compared to any accident. Because one masturbation, it carries a whole lot of kids, over, over thousands of babies. So the blood they get from one masturbation cannot be VIP accidents. No, you can't compare. If he, if he will tell you the truth. So the more you do masturbation, the devil likes you, he will not let you go. It is grace to deliver people like that. It is grace for them to come out from that. Because it's a serious issue. But I know that as far as he said no to occult, he's going to stop it by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. But the world should listen. Our young guys coming. Most of them, as we are talking now, they are, they, somebody is going to introduce them into it. And they, they are ready to go because they think they are struggling. Some young ladies also have joined. Uh, they said they have a group called. Oh, uh, so, yes. He said he said when he was in secondary school, his school mother mm -hmm. was also mm -hmm. into the. Legislative. You see, when when I was in secondary school, when, <laughs> some of us it's grace that kept us. Form one, my school mother was a very good lady, but there was I think I was in uh, house two, but house four. There were some ladies that they liked me. Me, I didn't know anything. Not doing they were lesbians. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, they had money on campus. Everybody respects them. And anytime they call me, but when you go to their tent, their bed is covered with cloth. Mm, inside the net. Yes. But I never knew. I was so naive to the scene. I didn't know nothing like lesbian. I know, I know nothing about it. Mm -hmm. So anytime I go, I see the form ones, some of the form one girls in the net. With the seniors, I, mean, I don't know, but they sent me because I was always always laughing. Anywhere you, if you beat me, I will laugh. So everybody wanted to send me on, on errands. Then one day I went to the room, and I saw them. There were nobody there; they were the only one there. But I had noise, noises, those things, you know. Now, mm -hmm. when yeah, I didn't know, so I just left the thing up. <laughs> I had no idea what was happening, hey. and I saw them serious. Then I shouted. <laughs> then the the lady called me at that time. We call her Kitty. She was the master. She called me. I tell you. She called me and she shut the door. And she said, for what you have seen, you dare not open your mouth. Either you join or you keep quiet. And I don't anything they would do. I was still laughing. I didn't know the, the, the essence of it. And you know, it, the, nobody has taught. My mother never told me anything about it. You know, education is good though. <laughs> if you're naive, you end up in something and telling you you can't come back. You know, I, I became their best friend ever on campus. Because, because you have something they, they really cherish. I, 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 it, it, it was so strange to the extent that even up to now, when they see me, we are like this. But they never, they never forced me into it. Mm. But I, they, they were sending me around. So if they see any form one girl they want, I, talk, I, I go and talk to, to the girl for them. That auntie said he wants you. They'll give you provision. They'll give you this. <laughs> I didn't know. But it was happening. Form one, form two, form three. It was happening. And the, 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 the form one girls, you have no say if they say they love you. you hey. I'm t Tima, I'm telling you. If you're in form one, they say they love you, and she's your senior, then you have to run, run from the school. You can't be comfortable in the school. You can't. And they, you, you are sad because of the things they will give you. We all need things. Me, when I was going to school, I'm a, I'm a hustler. Nothing, no provision. You know, so when they send me, they give me provision. So when they send me, I'll go. And I'll bring the girls and the form ones, you will, they, you will kneel down until you accept it before you get her from there. So most of the form ones that I, they told me to go and call, they were doing it. I never knew there were anything like awkward. Until now that I understand some things they were doing, that I know, oh, so that was the awkward. I never knew.
There are some kids who are naive like me. That it takes grace to save them. Otherwise, they have no choice. And as I said, me body house. I know what I went to in body house. None of my kids, whoever you are, nobody is going to body house because my mother is not there. My father is not there. And I can't come home and tell my mother this will happen. They will even beat me. So I won't say it. We, 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 we sometimes leave from school and go to club for, with my friends. Nobody knew I have ever went to club, but I go to club with my friends. And one day they near I nearly got killed in Kovoridia. Hey. Oh yeah, Kovoridia too, Kovoridia, because one of my friends had a sugar daddy, and sugar daddy came. No, so when he was coming, he came with his friends too. Hey, uh -huh. and he said, hey, yes, and I follow. <laughs> my friends were going. I didn't know where we were going. We just followed, and then we went. No, then they took us to Cochrane to me, in hey. one bush, guest out. When we got there, they've rented a room. Everybody's going with the men. But I was still in the hall. <laughs> and one man came and said, Let's go. And I followed. He went to the room. They've locked the door. I said, Hey, what the like man like my father? Even bigger than my father. Hey. My dear. Then the man said, um, go and shower. I said, Ah. What is happening? <laughs> you can just imagine me. I was like, yeah. I was like a pencil. Small, tiny. No idea. I was so green. I'm trying to tell some mothers that these are the things that lures our kids into these things. Then the man said, go and watch. I said, ah, watching down. Me, I can't see you in the room. You're like my father. What are you going to do? He said, ah, your friend didn't tell you. Then he told me, go out and go and ask them. And I went, I said, my dear, what is happening? The man said, I should go and watch. He said, ah, do you know why I get, do you know what I, uh, why I get my shoes, my things? I said, hey, my dear brother. I walked from that uh, guest house with no money in my pocket around 11 30 to 12 a.m. Hey. I didn't know where I was going to. I should have died at that time. That's why I me, mean. I don't joke with God because He should have killed me those days. Nothing happened to me. I walked that night, Tima. I didn't even know what was going to me until somebody met me. Whether that man was a ghost or I think he said before or whatever they called yeah, me because he has that thing yeah. there. Obon before. You know, those people hunter. Those, those, hunter. 12 something, I was crying. I didn't know where I was. In the dark, in the bush, and I was walking. No, he could have raped me. It, it was God that allowed him to open the door for me to go out. Hey. Yes, my dear. These are some of the things the kids go through in school, but in house. And the, and the mistresses and whatever we call them, some of them are even the awkward masters who are leading the case into it. A, a, a house mistress, house whatever we call them, my dear. It's not easy. That's why I said people should not charge people like this. Somebody will say that, uh, whatever. No. You, if you know what he has gone through, if you, are, if you have been in his shoes, and they are, that's why also in awkward, if we know what they are going through and what led them, we won't judge them. We'd rather pray for them and encourage them. So my dear, you are going out from this masturbation. You no know, whether SS or no SS, you are going to make it. Because it's not only certificate that makes a man. There are more things you can do with your life. Somebody is a lawyer. He's an awkward grandmaster. He's still a gay, whatever he is. So I'm, 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 even, I'm even asking, why, why did you go to school? <laughs> if you knew the gay and the awkward to give him everything, why, why are you going to school? To be a He's lawyer. covering up. This tells you, no, it is, the devil has nothing. He's just deceiving us. My dear, as far as you know God, if, have you been delivered from the awkward? Yes, ma'am. They delivered you? Yes, ma'am. Good. Then the next one is the uh, masturbation. That one is a journey we have to take. And that journey will come from you, your commitment, your seriousness. Because it's not going to be a joke. If you're ready for it, we'll go for it. And I'm telling you, you will stand tall. Let them be their lawyers. You'll make it to life. Tema, we have kids. I have my own. You also have your own. We should not, we should not ignore some things in life. When you, you have a boy, don't you have a boy? A boy mm -hmm. and a girl. Good. When the boy starts going to the bathhouse and starts holding, Mommy, my penis, Mommy, my penis. Tima, first ask the boy, did one of your friends pull your penis? We should not ignore my friend. Stop, don't say that. Don't tell them that. Ask the boy, my dear, what happened to your penis? Did somebody hold it? Let the boy feel comfortable. So don't shout on him. Mm -hmm. we mother, we do that. Don't, my friend, don't say that again. Don't hold your penis. Something has happened in the school. He wants to tell you. The first start is when you will see your reaction. 
Come my boy will tell me, mommy, you see, let me so let me hold my, my penis. Let, then he'll be pulling it. I need to tell him, Master, don't pull it. It's not good. Don't do it. If we can't teach the kids now, let them be comfortable with that. We are in trouble. And as small small girls who go to school, they come and say, my friend said we should stand at the